All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we got a pretty sweet video. Armor All's Extreme Shield Ceramic Car Wash. So you can actually use this in the foam cannon or in a uh, wash bucket. So we're gonna do both. But uh, just wanted to go over this video with you guys, kind of go over some stuff real quick. We, uh, we're we starting to try to get a little bit more detailing videos out. We're gonna have some really cool videos coming out with some pretty interesting details coming out on different products that we have. So just stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for, uh, following us on our channel thanks for all the support guys and we appreciate it so we're going to get right into it so here we have this uh, jeep renegade so we haven't really been putting too much protection on the paint uh if we wash it we'll put a little spray wax on it but it doesn't have any sealants any things like that so you can see it's decently beating it kind of just rained out but nothing crazy nothing really protecting it so we figured this car would be perfect for this product right here so what's pretty sweet about this product is when you wash, it will actually leave a little bit of protection just with the soap. Uh, so if you wanna use this and then you wanna combo it with the topper to put on top of the paint after you actually wash it, you'll be getting a couple layers of protection, which is really good. So what's nice about this, it's pretty affordable. You can find it at most stores. Obviously, Armor All, pretty uh, common brand. And you don't have to use a lot of the product. It says here, use about two, inch, two ounces for just a wash bucket so you can go two to four depending on how much of uh, suds and foaming you want and then if you use it in a foam cannon you'll actually be using about six to eight ounces so today we're going to be doing both as we said earlier so we're going to be using our electric power washer over here that we got from obsessed garage it was a kit it came with the power washer and then some upgraded hoses and stuff like that and then we're going to be using the foam cannon using this product and then we're going to also use it in a wash bin with just a wash mitt so kind of going over it, we're going to use, we're going to spray the whole car with the foam cannon and then kind of let it sit for a little bit, show you guys how it picks up some of the dirt and stuff like that. And then we'll probably respray it while we're washing it. So it will constantly have lubrication on the paint when we're actually wiping on it. And what I like to do is we actually like to do is we're going to foam it, let it sit and then rinse it. And we'll show you guys the results and then we're going to refoam it and then we're going to do a hand contact. And then we'll show you guys the results on that. And then we'll find show you the final results on the product. All right, All right guys. guys. So we're going to try this out. So here's our foam cannon. And then we have a little um, measuring cup. So we can measure um, how many ounces we're going to be pouring in. We're going to just open it up real quick, guys. Take that tab off. Yeah, brand new. I think I bought picked it up at Myers, our local store. I'll just kind of throw that in the bucket for now. Yeah, it's been hard for us to get some auto detailing videos out this year, even last year, with the moving and working on the house, and then working all over the place. Alright, so we'll go with, right now, about four ounces. This will go into the bucket. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, pretty much four ounces right there. That'll go in the wash bucket. Kind of mix it around. So, you one thing like he was saying, he was about to say it, not cut them off. <laughs> one thing about SiO2 soaps, they, it doesn't foam up pretty much at all in your bucket. So it kind of went with more for the foam cannon just to see how it's going to work. Went with about six. six. So good. it says about how much you should go. Depends on price. All right, I'm going to pour it in. Get this all ready just to foam it up. Definitely love having the foam cannon with the uh, electric power washer. It's a lot nicer. The uh, electric power washer is pretty good if you're trying to make videos. Oh, it's kind of sudsing up on me, but it's all right. Yeah, we picked this up at a such garage, you know. It's really a great thing he to have. It. Um, it really helps you keep your swirl marks down using it because you can use this foam cannon. It's super easy to set up. It's not heavy. It's not like you have to lug around a big gas one. And it's not hard to uh, set up, so. Definitely, if you guys are usually if you guys are using uh, your power washer quite a bit, or looking at getting a good one, that's definitely something we would recommend. I think we have a video on that, so we'll link it. Um, but it's really a good uh, power washer. Yeah, we bought that, and um, what, what's nice too about that this is basically the basic uh, kit. And what's nice is the hoses and everything come with it, and the fittings are just awesome. I mean, it, you do save a little bit of money because you don't have to hunt down those 
poses and that. Sounds like we're trying to sell his stuff, but we pay for this. You know, we just want to show you guys how how much we like it. All right, we're gonna get going. We gotta plug this baby in and start phone cannon the renegade. Great way to take care of your renegade with store bought products. All right, guys. So we got the uh, power washer all hooked up, it's all on, and everything. We're gonna go over a quick rinse with it. One thing I do want to say: anytime you guys are changing your uh, nozzle on a power washer and you put it in, always aim it at the ground before spraying it at the car so the nozzle doesn't come out and fly out at the car. Give it a little second. Okay, start to rinse it. As you can see on the pink too, look at that. I mean, it's not shooting that good. It's not really doing that much. Uh, that spray we've been using pretty much dead. I mean, we have nothing on this renegade. No, no ceramic coating. We've been using uh, stuff just to get by for a couple weeks. Some adjustments and a cannon right, to see. get some uh, some fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is at six ounces. foam off for you guys and then we'll rinse it foam it again for our hand wash guys so we're getting ready to rinse it off uh, one thing we will say is a lot of people are having problems with don't let it dry on your car so if it's really hot out maybe wait until later in the day till it cools down if you're in direct sunlight maybe wait till you can find some shade because it will kind of streak onto the car and it causes a lot of different problems further on down the road like today it's nice and cloudy pretty uh, cold colder out so 
We're gonna get this uh, rinsed off and show you guys just how just foaming it is. Yeah, what I've been reading is people have been having problems with some streaking. Then it dried on the vehicle, and they have to basically polish it to get it off. So I mean, that's actually kind of a good thing. You got to polish to get it off, actually. So it is leaving some protection from what I've been reading. So all right, let's see what we got. We're gonna do the hand contact. This is like how we like doing it. We instead of going straight in hand tap contact, we like to foam the vehicle back again. We also do that on pretty much all of our details. It's pretty much kind of our process. But then you know you're getting some soap on the panel, especially when in bucket, it doesn't foam up that well. And now we know we're gonna have some. Smooth, silky smooth soap. Not worry about scratching the vehicle. Alright, here we go. Hand contact time. So, what do you think? Is it pretty smooth with yeah, the foam in? it's definitely pretty smooth. The nice thing is um, just using the foam can and it helps kind of lubricate the paint, makes it a little easier. And uh, one thing that's good about rinse, spraying the whole car with the uh, foam cannon before actually using a mitt is you'll pick up any of that loose debris that may just come off with rinse and then a nice little soap. So if you have a black car, definitely consider using that uh, method. Yeah, this method would be great if you have a and, vehicle and honestly, with black paint. Depending on how dirty your car is, you may not even have to actually use a wash mitt on the car. So yeah. this car, it could probably use it, but certain ones don't actually need a uh, wash uh, wash mitt to kind of agitate the dirt off. Yeah, so if you have a vehicle that sits in the garage, maybe your car show vehicle, your weekend car, like we got the Mustang and Corvette, this product would be great just to foam it up rinse it off and dry it off because the only thing really that's on those vehicles in our garage we go to car shows is just dust so i mean this would be a great product to get uh your vehicle cleaned up quick with the foam cannon think it's cleaning the paint pretty good what do you think yeah it feels like it's a pretty good cleaning soap the thing that's probably really nice about this soap is um it's probably really good for if you do like client cars because you could spray it's almost like spraying a wax while washing it which is pretty nice or just using to maintain your own vehicle when's the last time uh this vehicle's been washed uh probably about two weeks ago we probably washed it but we don't really protect it too well so 
this being on there will definitely help it out. And it will probably uh, keep that paint looking real nice and vibrant. We definitely got to do something before winter. We got to get some protection on this paint on the wife's renegade. Usually what we like to do is um, around winter time, so around kind of, kind of right now in October-ish, uh, we like to put a sealant on most of our cars that'll last through at least the winter because we have pretty harsh winters here sometimes. So for, you know, my truck, we would usually put a nice uh, paste wax or some type of sealant on top. Pretty much on that 2004 F-150. Been using on, you know, like like uh, paste wax, cruiser coat, and basically stuff you could buy at the store, turtle wax, and other products that you have to order. Um, he plans on making a video on his clean it, and then he's going to show you the products that he uses to keep up on this 2004 F-150 that you guys can easily do because this has no ceramic coating. Look at the shine on that. I mean, it's beautiful. So he, in the future, he is going to make a video on it. Okay, stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have you used this salt from Amara? I um, mean, do you like it or do you, you don't like it? Let us know in the comments so any, anybody can, everyone can learn from you. And if you got any trips, tricks tips on this product or any other product matter of fact we want to learn from you guys also because you know we're hobbyist detailers and we do have some clients on the side our goal is to eventually you know keep adding to the detail business and get more customers all right guys so i just kind of did a quick hand wash paint was relatively clean just with the foam up just wanted to get some of the big dirt off so as you guys can see here, it's still on there. We're about to spray it off. And we'll kind of go over how it looks just with spraying it off. Spray down. Looks like it's uh, cooling off the windows and beating off the windows pretty good. That would help out when it's raining. So we just finished uh, rinsing it off after the hand wash. So we're just gonna dry it with no drying aid or no uh, sealant just to kind of really focus on this product. As you guys can see the beading is already pretty impressive for just a wash. So we're looking to see uh, how it'll be after we dry it, how the shine is and everything. One thing that is weird about this soap is um, you've seen how well it foamed up in the foam cannon. But when you're uh, using it in a wash uh, bucket, it really doesn't foam up like that. But it, you can tell it's still pretty good at cleaning. Yeah, best bet is to foam it back up and use your contact wash. That's be, I think that's the best way to use it. Any kind of soap, actually, when you're foam canning. If you want to get the, a lot of foam. And it does help out to break up that dirt when you're not scratching your vehicle. Pretty much kind of a, how our process is detailing a vehicle that hasn't been maintained in a long time our, our own vehicles we maintain them a lot you, a lot of times we don't have to go to the process that we showed you guys we can foam it rinse it and then go straight into hand washing without foaming it again all right we'll dry it up and we'll uh, see what kind of beating effects we have all right while he's uh Trying it, look at the shine on it. Man, made this uh, what's the name of this color? You remember, Colin? It is Bikini Metallic. Bro. Bikini it's a Metallic. Cheap color, you can get it on, I think, the Renegade and the Wrangler. I think that's it for now. It pretty much shined it up pretty good. It's looking nice. I'm impressed with that product. Yeah, look at that. You guys can see 
the back of the house, which I painted not too long ago. And this vehicle has never been paused, so you're not going to get that, you know, mirror-like, you know, finish from this paint. And then we got the mirror you can. Well, you can from the window. We didn't do the wheels because we plan on doing another video next with the wheels, cleaner, and tire spray from Amaral. That's why we didn't concentrate on wheels. So that's one thing you guys, you guys can use this on your wheels. But it may definitely made the paint pop on the Jeep Renegade. All right. If you guys got a Jeep Renegade watching this, are you going to use this on your products? Let us know. Man, it's been a while since we actually did a detailing video. I think it's the beginning of summer. Now it's October. It's crazy. I got I have videos coming out from uh, Pacey last year and and you know yeah, spring. We got, kinda, we got kind of busy with life, I guess you could say, and it kind of yeah. got hard to really make any videos with all the stuff going on. Painted the house. We worked on the house. Had to replace wood, and plus we're working all the time. You see. Check it out. What do you guys think of the house? Look good. You guys like the colors? And then plus two, you know, on some days we had to take the boat out. And one day this boat will be polished. We'll do some videos. And we like to get in some clients and start uh, detail boats, actually. So if you guys detail boats, what products have you guys used? Let us know. Man, look at that shine, man. It's, it's... All right, guys. So we just finished drying it up after washing it. And as you guys can see, the gloss is really great. And uh, it really did a good job beating, especially right after washing. So yeah, I would say it's a great product to use if, uh, especially if you just don't have a lot of time maybe to protect it and you're maybe going on a trip or something, it's a great product just to have protect your paint while you're driving. And uh, it's really easy to use, which is nice. It's crazy to see how far they're coming with these products and how to make them easier to use and last longer and more uh, protect more protection so right he mentioned last longer i don't think this product is going to last long we're not going to do we might be able to do an updated video on how long it lasts we'll see if uh if we have the time to do it stuff like that maybe he can uh, make an updated one in a couple weeks and see how it lasts uh, let us know if you guys would like to i don't think this product is going to last you know for five months and stuff like that i think it's just uh, a great product to Get you some protection on your vehicle easy and fast you know if you want like a long-term protection you want you want a ceramic coating uh, stuff like that you guys know or if you don't know you can go to a professional detailer and they can fill you in on stuff you can use to protect your car or they can even do it or if you like doing it you know it's great testing products out like this all right, so let's show you some beading for the last uh, end of the video. Let's uh, then we'll have to dry it again. We we'll figure just let show you guys at the end. Everybody likes the water test. We do too. Oh, yeah. pretty good. And plus too, this this hood kind of slopes a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. We got some pipe beads and we got some small beads. And plus two is going to depend. You know, pertains to your water also for your beating effect. We're in the Great Lakes, so our water is pretty, pretty good water. I don't know if that made any sense, but oh well. All right, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And then we're going to use some other products from Amaral. And we're going to be making that video today also, so look out for that one when it comes out. And what we're going to be using is... The wheel cleaner right here on these wheels and then we're going to be using your ceramic tire coating we'll have to let it dry we'll show you guys what this stuff uh, can do all right even though you got you know plus it's still dirt so can't say we, we that's why we didn't touch them you can still see the brake dust stuff like that all right guys you want anything to add to the no, guys, on just, YouTube. For you, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple review on it. It's not really much to go over. It's kind of just the soap that gives a little bit of protection. It's nice that you can get it at your store. It's pretty uh, affordable. No, that's really it, guys. So we yeah. do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. We didn't do uh, as professional as some of our other videos, but we wanted to just get the video out there so you guys can have at least this review. On and the plus, product. Yeah, and plus, too, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, if you've never been to our channel, we do basically videos like this, auto detailing, 
classic cars we detail also and we make videos on car shows in our local area and a little bit of auto repair sometimes something you like join the family and subscribe and comment comment uh, our stuff you like we like learning from you guys also guys but this is your channel too and I want to thank all my support from our old subscribers and always comment and always look forward to those comments alright guys you guys have a great day thanks for watching this one